Welcome back, everybody. We are now just about 35 minutes away from the start of the Major League Baseball draft, where Niskayuna High School senior Garrett Whitley is expected to hear his name called somewhere in the first round. His parents, Eric and Kelly, his younger siblings, Aaron and Lindsay, his grandmother, Pat, his uncle, Paul, and his summer coaches with the Schenectady County Indians, Jim and Nick Demidio, attended today's pre-draft luncheon in Midtown Manhattan. They have been joined tonight at the MLB Network Studios in New Jersey by Niskayuna principal J.R. Rickard and Silver Warriors baseball head coach John Fury and his staff. Now the reason for all the fuss, Whitley has been projected in recent weeks to go as high as sixth overall, but probably more reasonably, the speedy center fielder will be drafted somewhere between 10 and 25 of the first round, but you really never know. Either way, the five-tool prospect is on the verge of becoming a millionaire. The top overall pick will receive a signing bonus of roughly $8.6 million. The 10th overall pick is slotted to get roughly $3.2 million, while the 20th overall pick will get about $2.2 million to sign, and on and on. Either way, it's very good money, and Whitley is expected to forego his commitment to Wake Forest University to turn pro immediately. It is an awful lot for an 18-year-old to take in. I've thought about it a little bit, but really I, I want to play professional baseball and that's what I'm focusing on right now. I'm just not going to overanalyze anything. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to be patient and rely on my, my parents um, for support and then uh, hopefully hear my name picked pretty early. As for the entire CBS 6 viewing area, here is every first round pick since the draft began in 1965. Spot Catholic grad Tim Stauffer, now a twin, is in his 11th big league year. Tim Cole of Saugerties went fourth overall to the Braves in 1977, but he never made it to the majors. Pittsfield's Tom Grieve was taken sixth overall by the Washington Senators in 1966. He played nine years in the bigs and is now part of the Texas Rangers broadcast team. Jeff Hoffman out of Shaker, currently pitching in Class A ball for the Blue Jays, while CBS CBA graduate John Cerruti was drafted 21st overall in 1981 by Toronto out of Amherst College, and he spent seven years pitching in the show. Now, Pittsfield's Matt Toro went 31st overall to the Diamondbacks in 05 with a supplemental first-round pick, and Shenandoah grad Dan Peltier also taken 31st overall out of Notre Dame in 89 when that was a second-round pick. And besides Whitley, there do not appear to be any sure things in this year's 40-round draft, which begins at the top of the hour and runs through Wednesday. We certainly have several other youngsters yeah. who could be drafted, mm -hmm. but Whitley is the one slam dunk. If How he about goes a millionaire? Six? Yeah, That's if he goes six, he'd be a twin with Tim Crazy. Stauffer. Wow. You know? But again, we want to emphasize he's going to play at least, at best, two years in the minor leagues, probably more than that. He's not going straight to the big leagues. We can't yeah. wait. We're too excited. <laughs> We're excited, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got a jersey, right. the hats, yeah. the whole thing. Pretty cool. Right. It is. Thanks, Thank Doug. You.